Welcome to Late Night Mythology. I am your host Jesse from Tribal Soup Project. Our goal is to introduce and educate you on the stories of gods, heroes, fantastical beasts, and magical artifacts from cultures and pantheons from around the world. Every culture has evolved its own mythology that defines its character and offering a way to understand the world around them. So stick around and learn something new or remember something you forgot. Achilles was the son of King Peleus of Thessaly and the sea nymph Thetis. He was one of the greatest of the Greek warriors. Thetis was well sought after for her beauty, but a prophecy from Prometheus stated that her offspring would be greater than his father. So naturally Zeus and Poseidon left Thetis alone for that reason alone. They did, however, arrange for the marriage of Thetis to a mortal. Now, it was Thetis who, wanting to make Achilles immortal himself, dipped him in the river Styx. The fact that she had to hold him by the heel to do this left Achilles with the one weakness that would eventually bring him down. He was taught the art of warfare from Chiron, the centaur, and he was known as a courageous fighter, but his mother also knew that he was still doomed to die at Troy. At one point she disguised him as a girl when King Lycomedes came looking for him, for it was said the Greeks could not win without Achilles. Odysseus tricked him by placing weapons amongst some fine jewelry, and while the women were looking at these fine things, a, a call to arms rang out, and Achilles reached for the weapons on the table, giving himself away to Odysseus, and Achilles went to Troy after that. It was only when Achilles' lover, Patroclus, was killed by Hector did he come to the battle, and that was to avenge his lover and slay Hector, which he did. He fought fiercely on the battlefield thereafter, slaying hundreds of Trojans, but in the end it was an arrow from the bow of Paris, guided by Apollo, that gave Achilles his mortal wound. Thank you.